don't get punched in the face for thinking I'm just a YouTuber. This what the BMG niggas do. They get big racks, you feel me? You already know BMG got this city hot. And that's a fact. BMG got the city hot. Bow. Don't fuck around. What's good, Stella King? It's your boy, Up Class, and you are now tuned into the Realist Reacts channel on the tube. I need everyone to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I drop. A new video. Okay, y'all, today the video's gonna be on the. I see these rappers starting to say they started Brooklyn Drill or who started it first and who was doing it first. First of all, let me show you guys something. The Brooklyn Drill scene has nothing to do with the type of beats people did. Brooklyn Drill came here from Chicago. Everybody in New York was doing the same thing the Chicago niggas was doing. That's why all these niggas talk about they spinning blocks and they just doing all these senseless shit they be doing because they really got it from Chicago. You me? And I'm from New York saying this for a fact, but like I said, it has nothing to do with the beats. The beats change with time. You know what I'm saying? The genre didn't change, but the beats change. So some people are starting to say, oh yeah, when I started rapping, I made Brooklyn Drill or they, no, they started calling it Bro Brooklyn Drill as of recently. They weren't calling it Brooklyn Drill four or five years ago. They started calling Brooklyn Drill because certain artists like Fabio, Pop Smoke, and Tutu and these niggas made it to the industry. So now they gave it Brooklyn Drill. We as Brooklynites didn't call it Brooklyn Drill. We were just making drill music. You know what I'm saying? But the media called it Brooklyn Drill. So no one can't say they started Brooklyn Drill. And at the end of the day, if you're going to say, yo, the reason why it's called Brooklyn Drill is because we do these specific beats, then it shouldn't be called Brooklyn Drill. It should be called UK Drill. If you're doing the UK beats, it should be called UK Drill. It's not Brooklyn Drill. The only reason they call it Brooklyn Drill, the media themselves called it Brooklyn Drill because where we where we based, we in Brooklyn. So they called it Brooklyn Drill. I'm trying to make this video as informative as I can. I'm I'm going to show you guys some clips at the end of rappers who were out before all these rappers that's claiming they started everything or whatever. So I'm going to play the clips with the rappers and saying whatever they started or whatever. I'm going to react to it and then we're going to um get into the, the rappers who were before them at the end. So. Let's get straight into it. Let's drill this. Go ahead. Yeah, Brooklyn drills, the UK beats with the Brooklyn vibes and the Brooklyn lyrics. Feel me? And suburban, I'm gonna say suburban stamp that. So Bobby Schmurder, they did the um Bob Let's drill this. Go ahead. Yeah. Brooklyn drills, the UK beats with the Brooklyn vibes and the Brooklyn lyrics. You feel me? And suburban, I'm gonna say suburban stamp that. See, like I said in the beginning, it's not UK beats that made it become Brooklyn Drill. And then he said Suburban, which is his song. Suburban, if you listen to Suburban, Suburban doesn't really sound like the beats that everybody's doing now. Suburban is more slow, mellow tempo compared to all the beats that niggas is doing now with all the hi-hats and all the, the extra bass and all that in it. It's not the same type of beat. So Bobby Schmurder, they did the um Bobby and Roddy, they did the Jalil beats. Bambino and Curly Sav and them, they did the um definitely not no UK beats. I did the um AXL first though. Ask them, they'll, they'll tell you. No, no, Axel said that he was the first one to jump on an Axel beat from New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so you feel like... Correction, he's not the first one to jump on an Axel B from New York. He's the first one to accumulate a certain amount of views on an Axel B. Like, that's what started... Yeah, the world feel like that. I mean, they should. They should. That's what Brooklyn Drill is. There was no such thing as Brooklyn Drill when Bobby and then Pop. It was I no such thing. Like, he wasn't calling Brooklyn music Brooklyn Drill, bro. You feel me? Was, All right, it wasn't called Brooklyn Drill. I even said that in the beginning also, but you got to look at it. When Bobby and them came out, the Chicago niggas was dissing them, saying, yo, y'all still in our style, because they considered the music Bobby and them made to be drill. So if the originators of drill felt like Bobby and them was still in their style, which means that Bobby and them was also making drill music. The Fino and Sab was doing what y'all... We wasn't calling it Brooklyn Drill neither. Is Even it? though one of the songs, when Rowdy re re responded to the um, the Chicago niggas, he said, niggas said we make drill music, stupid nigga, we don't do that. We just rap the shit that we live, nigga, bow, bow, when we shoot that. So now the niggas in Chicago felt like, all right, because they were rapping about spinning blocks and shooting niggas or whatever, they making drill music. But Bobby and Rowdy 
felt like, yo, this is where we actually really live, you feel me? So we just rapping what we live about. Still wasn't called Brooklyn Drill, but when 2 2 gs came with that Suburban, if you think about all the flows that these rappers used, that was mine. Brooklyn shout Drill, out to, I'm going to yeah, say yeah. shout out to Pop Smoke, RP Pop Smoke. He, he made it worldwide, too. Yes, yes. Girl, Global. Yeah, he's a, but that's that's kind of where the Brooklyn Drill started, around that era, like our era, you feel me? I'll say, like, around the end of 2015, you feel me? Me, Bambino, Dada, Money Mills. That's the first solidified drill song right there. You feel me? Everybody gonna act like they was making drill music. That's cat. Niggas is not doing no drills, no right. drill type beats, no none of that. You feel me? When 2-2-Gs and Chef and all them niggas came out, I say like drills are like, I right, you know what I want to say real quick? Like, let me get, let me just make this clear right now. You feel me? Brooklyn drill is not considered doing a UK beat. Let me get that Thank you. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Like, he's right. He's 100% correct. Hey, that's it. Been, 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 been out since Chicago. I don't know why I've been out since Chicago. Like, hopping on a UK beat is, is that's not drill. Just cut it out. You feel me? They don't know. That's why we got to discuss it. All right, you feel me? Drewski, they don't know. That's why we got to discuss it. All right, Drewski is not, you can tell Drewski is not really fully informed to the drill scene that's going on in New York. He's just chiming in because him being on a platform he is, it's easy for him to reach out to these rappers and they respond because of who he is. They grow up knowing him, DJing and shit. So it's easy to get them on his platform. He's just using these rappers as a, you know, I right, you know my platform lit. Let me get y'all on here because y'all doing y'all thing. And if I get y'all on here, it'll benefit me. He's not really in tune to the culture. Like Drewski, actually, my my little sis had an event and she had Drewski DJing at the event or whatever. And you know, niggas, whoever won, one they would get some hot ninety seven players, some shit like that or whatever. And that was like in twenty seventeen. You know what I'm saying? And Tutu was on the list. Um, KJ Baller. It was mad of the drill rappers on the list, and a lot of them came to show and performed or whatever. Drewski was there, and Drewski did not show the same attention. He's showing now to these same rappers three, four years ago. You feel me? So that's what I'm telling you. He's not really in tune to our culture. I mean, but this is why this is why I'm here. You feel me? So like, I'm gonna say like this. So he knows he knows who's hot. Gang again came out. You feel me? And I'll say, all right, all right. See, everybody is like almost like they want to say they're the ones who started it. But drill came in this generation, 2015, 2016, and on. You feel me? 2016 right. is the MV trip, and how can you say drill came in this generation of drill originated in Chicago? The year. Right? And back in 2012, it had people in New York drilling because of Chicago influence, and they wasn't even rapping yet. I stamp to me and G's gasoline. 2 2 G's Never. and Chef G solidified in 2017 with the no suburban and the suburban. Urban. But they didn't, they didn't, they, they were in the beginning, but I wouldn't even say the beginning. They were more so to the middle. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to show y'all some of the people that were in the beginning. 2 2 G Suburban came out 2016. And you, and your, your record came out 2015. No, my record came out 2016, September. Oh, 2 2 G's record came out like December, oh. like November, December. Four or five years. months later. Like two months later after my record. Like, right. yeah, yeah, like three months later. So you're saying based on the timestamp. Which what, what you did and Jesus did. I ain't going front. Everybody keep mentioning Suburban. What so, the song that I know Tutu from that I got introduced to Tutu from was um Blicky. It's first. It's first. Paparazzi Pop is also included in what me and right. Jesus did. Because he also tagged along to that whole right. battle rap. It was like a yeah. Nas and Jay Z and kind of like you know what I mean kind of thing. Right. Like we did it on drill beats, we did it on um quiet storm kind of beats, we did it on all kind of beats. So this is this is documented, bro. This is not me just looking for this. Go look it up on YouTube, SoundCloud, it's there. September 27th, 2016 is so, I, the, the, the same thing that I say, everybody that came up here, they agreed on. GS9 paved the way. GS9 started a lot. You feel me? If you ask me. Like, a lot of people don't even know. Like, Bobby and them was rapping in 2013, too. They got songs out from 2013. I remember him and um, Richie P did that act right shit. Like, niggas been doing all this shit, like, way before 2014, 2015. You know what I'm saying? That was that was kind of drill music, you feel me? Niggas was calling it drill music. And even Beam John. They don't consider and, drill and, music. And Beam John, Robbie said, niggas said we make drill music. Stupid nigga, we don't do that. So it's right. still... That vibe, you feel me? 
Facts. You feel me? Everybody came up here, gave Life Fever, Bando Black, and them. They did they they drill shit. I think that was like 2015. Life Fever and Bando Black and them was also before 22Gs and shit like that. Bando Black name was Top Black. Before all of this, um, Bando Black, he was Top Black. I was locked up with um with Life Fever in two in December 2014 and shit. And then for me after that, everybody that's, was that's rapping. That's a little bit after he dropped that 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 track. They, I'm gonna put it in here too. And then at the bottom of 2015, Gang 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 came out. To me personally, that was the first drill shit. Drill song that I've seen. See, coming. that's the bottom of 2015. He's talking about right, and he remember he linked with um Dada and Curly and them, right? Okay, the bottom of 2015. Bobby and them got indicted in the end of 2014. So now they they they, they just talking about shit that's almost a whole. Year. Let's drill this. Go ahead. Yeah, Brooklyn drills the UK beats with the Brooklyn vibes and the Brooklyn lyrics. You feel me? And suburban. I'm gonna say suburban stamp that. See, like here. After these niggas being locked up, you know what I'm saying? Come together. I don't. I wasn't paying attention to everybody back then. I just know you knew they was rapping, but it ain't matter. Like it wasn't important. No, no, no. I'm saying yeah, yeah. Other niggas was rapping, but I'm saying once Gang 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 came out, oh, that's I knew that was drill music to me. Everybody got their own definition. To me, that was drill music. The fact. So right. Brooklyn drill started with that Gang 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 song, and that's a fact. For me, everybody on that song. Bambino, Curly Sav, Dada, Money Mill, Free Money Mill. That's just what it is. And that was, you said, 2015? That's, 20, that's the end of 2015, so 2016, nobody it, was, it was lit. Yeah. And you, like, basically... And all, nobody, yeah, like, it's, like it's, once, Bobby, once Bobby and Rowdy got booked, it was a drought. Like, nobody was popping, like, popping, like, you know what I mean? Like, getting booked for shows, fans, people wanting to take pictures with you outside, like, real celebrities type shit. Yo, uh -huh, these niggas is going crazy. Like, everybody talking about them. The radio's playing us all types of crazy shit, but it's like, like a real attention. Like niggas, like nah, this shit going viral right, right. now. Right? See what Bambino's saying? If you're speaking in that aspect, then you can say that like other niggas that did way more views than other people. If you're gonna say, yo, yeah, I was the first to hit a million views, or I was the first to drop a song and do this much views in this period of time. If you was, if you're speaking in that way, then yeah, all of that could fly. But as far as being originators and starting shit. No, that can't fly. Yeah, like, oh, ah, uh, ah, uh, these niggas going crazy. Who is these? Who is these niggas? Like, right. I mean, that's that's the type of attention we brought. Then everybody else came with their attention. Tutu and them, they talking about when they talk about Brooklyn Dre, talking about the UK. They had the the, the, the UK yeah. flow. Actually, but we started the the wave. When you talking about the wave, like, yo, boom, they switch. You know, you, of course, it's gonna change up eventually. But the right. wave of us just is us. D O D Bando. The 7.30 go crazy, nigga. All right, see, now he's saying it's them, right? I remember Blizzy when Blizzy came out. Blizzy became popular because people were saying that's Bobby's brother. That's how he got lit. I remember. A lot of y'all probably don't remember. A lot of y'all forgot. But I'm about to refresh y'all memory, you feel me? Because I'm really in tune to this shit. And I'm really from out here, you feel me? These niggas, he got lit because niggas were saying, oh, that's Bobby Shmurda's brother and shit. And then niggas started making little memes and shit. That shit went viral. And then they ended up putting him in um money and violence and shit. But that's like later on down the road and shit when he was in money and violence and shit. They had that 730 go crazy. Fucking, what's the other niggas? Um, what year is this though? This is 2014, 2014, yeah. 2015, 2016. That's when that shit started. When 20, 2015 at the end, that's when Dan Bino came with that motherfucking gang, gang, gang shit. That's what that shit. That, that's Dan Bino, Curly Side, and Dada. Word that my mother was out too, that shit. That's when Ross Swisher, them niggas, that's Za, it. and a little NBA crew came. So all these niggas is up here front. <laughs> don't don't let me take away the other niggas from 2014, 15 was the Broward niggas, 2605, and them Gloss Gang niggas. Yeah, they, they had a little shit too. They was on that, dropping the L's, real drill, Chicago shit. You feel me? But it was you. All this Chicago yeah. Stuff. Yeah, bro, these niggas, and these niggas that wasn't outside, they can't say it was the drill <laughs> music, that's what it was about. Who was outside? These niggas wasn't outside. Facts. Okay, so now look, right? I disagree with everybody that's saying they started shit, because there were people before them all. It's just that 
Some of these people didn't get the chance to become as lit or their music didn't go as viral, but they definitely did a good amount of numbers. And I'm going to show you some of these people, you feel me? I'm going to incorporate the, the, the name of the song, the artist, and the date it came out. So anybody that's saying whatever, you know, I always got people that got to say some type of bullshit. So once I incorporate all the dates and everything, you can't go against it. You feel me? You can't go against it because the date's going to prove it. You feel me? But anyway, we're going to get straight into that. If you're not subscribed to Stella Gang yet, what you waiting for? Come on, join the squad, man. Stella Gang got the city hot. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so you notified every time I drop a new video, man. BMG got the city hot. Y'all niggas know what's going on, man.